The Maslin Tigers and their community along Lincoln Way have often longed for just one thing. Since the institution of the state playoffs, that's a state championship on the field. And this year in Tiger Town, there's a feeling that things may be a bit different. There's a team with a group of seniors with a set goal to play 15 weeks and hoist a trophy at the end of those 15 weeks. This week on Behind the Athlete, I went out to Tiger Town and spoke to three of the seniors on the team and Coach Nate Moore about what it's going to take to keep the good times rolling in Maslin and allow them to play to week 15. Just being with my guys every day and make it special, like with all the other seniors, like they ain't gonna be here next year either. I mean, we all on the same, we all on the same ride, and it's a senior ride. And I mean, it came too fast, but I mean, I just try to make it special every day by taking every rep and try to go 110. percent So it's, it's more than just us. We're playing for a whole city, playing for every crowd, every uh, fan that goes in the bleachers and watches every single game, no matter the circumstances, and we're playing for them every week. This is actually my first fourth year, um, and. So this is, you know, for me personally, this is uncharted territory, and um, to, to get to, to go all the way through with a group, you know, like, like, like this group this year, it's, it, you know, there's a closest that can only come with, with, with you know, time spent together, and um, we, have, we have really great kids, and they're not always perfect, uh, but, but, you know, they're great kids at heart, and um, they're a lot of fun to be around. This is a great group to coach. Um, you know, they enjoy spending time together. The coaches enjoy spending time with the kids, and you know, I think you can see that spending time with us. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's an honor to go through this journey with them. For senior wide receiver Trayvon Morgan, that journey started in the first three days of camp with the Tigers retreat, and also in his sophomore year with important talks from Coach Moore. We stay at the school for three days, and we just go over. We, you know, we uh, create love for one another. You know, and sometimes there might be new people on the team that you want to get to know or, you know, get to you know, get closer to a coach. So we, we just do everything as a team, really. That's what the retreat is really for. I go home crying sometimes at the sophomore year because he's yelling at me. But not only does it make me a good player, but he makes me a good person. And, you know, text me every single night, make sure I'm doing my homework. Um, even his wife does too. Um, you know, just being, you know, life, life little lessons, you know, we went over that during the retreat and we stayed at the school and we did, we went all over that, you know, that little, just a little thing just really helped me. Since Coach Moore came to Maslin, he has used a certain phrase, team above self. It's not that way a lot of places um, because it's hard, right? Because you, you've got, you know, you got 80 kids out there, everybody with their own self-interest in mind. You know, and that, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's, that's human nature. You know, that's, that's everybody, you know. It, to have a group of guys that, that could put those things to the side and, 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 and say, yeah, I, I want to, you know, I want to do something special. I want to be a part of something really, really, really special. I'm going to put my, um, you know, my personal interests to the side, not, not put them away, but, but put them to the side for, for the best interests of the team. Yeah, that didn't happen a lot of places. Moore has a number of great seniors this year, but we spoke to three. I already talked about Trayvon Morgan, but there's also Jameer Thomas and Dean Clark. They are unique in their own way. Um, yeah, he's been a good player for a long time, but I think he's really, uh, the work he put in this offseason was, was something different. Um, and I think you see that on the, on the football field. Um, I think you see that in his average per carry. Um, I, I think you see that in the, the game clinching sacks. You know, he, he's, a, he's a really, really good ball player, but that, he made himself a, a great football player with the work he put in this offseason. Our task in, in development with Dean was, was not really about, um, you know, helping him mature as a person. It was more about bringing out the, the leadership skills that he has inside of him. Um, he, he was a naturally mature kid, um, a naturally by example guy, but, but to get him out of his shell and get him um, you know, talking about the things that need to be done and holding people accountable um, is, are some huge strides that he made this year and, and um, he's doing a great job as a team captain for us. Clark has committed to Kent State while Morgan and Thomas are receiving multiple offers from Power 5 D1 schools. 
What is most impressive about all of these kids and Coach Moore, though, is the way they talk about their singular goal. Uh, state title. State title? Yeah. Is that number one? Yeah, that's the only one. The only one? Yeah. Okay. That's the goal. We've been preaching that since we came off that uh, loss versus Wynton Woods, and that's been the goal ever since. When adversity hits us, you know, we just got to we gotta stay at the top level, you know, you know, keep our heads because once we put our heads down and we shut down, then, you know, everything just falls apart. So that's really just, you know, maintaining a goal and just going forward. They've been saying that all year. I mean, from the very first interviews for the, for the 2018 Tigers, um, they've been saying that and, and you know, I'm, I'm behind them 100%. You know, those are their goals, not, not, that, not that I don't share the same goals, but, um, you know, when, when the players are setting goals like that, that's when things get really good. A common goal in mind for all three kids, Dean, Trayvon, and Jameer. Plus, Nate Moore is behind that common goal as well. Why wouldn't he be? He's the head coach and has to support whatever it is that his kids believe in. And this year, they believe in reaching the highest peak as a state championship football team here in the state of Ohio. They have a long way to go to do it, but there's a lot of talent on the roster and it's more than possible for this year's group. Again, this has been Behind the Athlete brought to you by Kempthorne Motors. I'm John Bazika, and we'll catch you next week.